So can we begin the session now, Varnikar sir? Yeah. Yes, yes, we should. We yes, should. Sir. yes, sir. Please, please. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, so participants, uh, we apologize for these technical issues at our end. And uh, we have our uh, guest, Dr. Sachin Vernekar. So I request Vernekar, sir, to please take over. He's going to guide us on innovation and leadership. Yeah, but I am also feeling sorry because uh, this is uh, beyond our control. Uh, the network suddenly, uh, but sometimes that network also, the, when it's a, it's a five days program, even the network requires some break. The way we take break, lunch break, tea break and all. So I'll not take much of your time. Uh, this immediately after my session, I am going to be. Uh, I'm going to speak for 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, in fact, the 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 one part of validatory session, the summary uh, of the the various speeches has already been completed by Dr. Irekar. Uh, I'm supposed to speak on leadership and innovation. Now, all of you know there are different leadership styles. Every leader tries to adopt different leadership styles for different people in different situations. We have been uh, studying these leadership styles. So less is fair, democratic, autocratic. There are so many such leadership styles. But for me, a good leader is one who makes everybody feel great. A manager, if he doesn't develop the leadership qualities, he may not have so many followers. He may not be able to succeed. So I have developed out of my experience of last 36 years in this particular field, I have developed my own theory. That theory I'm going to discuss with you. Madam, you can have uh, the uh, PowerPoint presentation. This theory I would like to just discuss with you all. This is on uh, leadership and innovation. And this is something interesting, something different. Mantras for success as a leader and journey to six stations for innovation. So this is developed by me out of my experience and very important news for all of you. Some of these speakers, resource persons must have shared with you that India has moved to ranks and we are ranked now 46 in the world in 130 economies in the innovation index. And that's a great news for you. Uh, for me, and very importantly, importantly, in the middle income groups, we are ranked second. So there is an improvement, but there is a long, long way to go. But we Indians have been great innovators. We all know we have been great entrepreneurs. Uh, you have seen in this pandemic, particularly that when the when this pandemic in this particular pandemic in March 2020, when the lockdown was declared, we were all shocked. We did not know what to do. And in nine months, you must have seen the Indians, we Indians, uh, we have developed the vaccines. We have manufactured the vaccine in India itself, Covishield and Covaxin. And there are so many more in the pipeline. And very importantly, the PPE kits, ventilators, which we used to import with our innovation, very uh, cost, cost, effective, uh, cost effective ventilators we have developed which is very handy. When in the second wave, when we suffered a lot because of the second wave, second wave particularly, the oxygen, for the warmth of oxygen, many people lost their lives. But there again, many such entrepreneurs came forward. They did a lot of innovation. And one technology we, we Indians are known for, there, is, there have been so many books, that is frugal technology, frugal innovation, that is Jugat technology, the one technology that we export to different countries and we Indians are known for, that is Jugat technology. If the Murphy radio, old radio doesn't work, if your motorcycle doesn't work, it should be given in the hands of an Indian. And you will see that that Murphy radio by hitting left, right and top, we ensure that that Murphy radio starts working and you get the right station. And you have seen, when you get the wrong station and you repeatedly you change the get the wrong stations, what happens, particularly when you're cooking something? So whether it's a radio motorcycle, you, you know our scooter, Bajaj scooter, all of you know the example of Bajaj scooter, when it was not getting started, we used to bend it down. 
and then it and these are the all innovations that we indians have done one mr aurangzeb he was felicitated by in uh, rashtrapati bhavan and his innovation was very interesting he loved his wife in fact we all love our wives and definitely uh, we cannot afford to say no and uh, particularly at home we always say that you are the boss and uh, i have seen one of my friends putting a board outside his house where it was written i am the boss in this house and i have i have the permission of my wife to say so so we know who is the boss at home so he loved his wife and he was feeling very sorry to see his wife going to the floor mill every day and uh, getting her clothes the dress everything spoiled so he developed the flow mill on a scooter and that was the innovation and if you see the countryside area in the villages you see so many such innovations the washing machine that we manufacture in the factory in punjab we use it for making lassi and we have seen so many such innovations this is frugal innovation this is flexible innovation it is bottom to top when it comes to innovation it is top to bottom you require a lot of infrastructure you have assistance in place and then you go for the innovation but in jugat technology in frugal it is very flexible it is bottom to top so there are many innovators all the speakers from rasim ji uh, to manoj singh to uh, both both everybody shared their views on variety of subjects now my topic that i have chosen so to be a, to be a leader we need certain certain aspects certain qualities in him or her and very important innovation is possible generally we say speed of the boss is the speed of the team innovate or perish and today if we don't innovate madam first line if we don't innovate if we don't innovate we perish and to, and a very important question we all ask ourselves regardless of the organization that we work for is my organization growing or it is growing old if my organization is growing old one of the reasons why the organization is getting old or our products are getting into the maturity stage or saturation stage is because of the lack of innovation many times we have to go for the innovation in all the all the four p's of marketing we have to go for the innovation in almost every area even as a teacher even as a director even as a student as a manager each one of us as a salesman we are all salesmen nothing can happen in the world unless someone sells something nothing can happen in the world unless some someone sells something what are we selling for as teacher we in the class we sell our ideas similarly every manufacturer every producer every marketer is trying to sell these ideas and these ideas uh someone as philip kotler has very rightly said nothing is powerful in the world than an idea which time has come we have a lot of ideas in our mind but we have to develop those ideas into products that is where the innovation comes press and to be innovative to develop a culture in the organization innovation culture because culture matters a most if you are at you are not allowing your employees to open their minds if there is there is no brainstorming if we are not welcoming the ideas from the employees then the organization will definitely grow old old and some day as you see uh, cameras they disappeared kodak and so many other things with one mobile one mobile that we have it in our hand thousands of products disappeared from the uh, from this world just because of one mobile because now mobile this one mobile which is also abel muzemar this mobile you have a watch you have a radio you have almost everything that you need and everything disappeared and iphone iphone the apple you must be knowing it is one of the very innovative companies every time it is announcing iphone 11 12 13 and every time they try to bring in something new even in our syllabus even as educators we have to see that there is a surprise item when you are teaching when you are sharing your ideas you are presenting your ideas to your students there should be a surprise item 
and every organization and we the teachers have a very important duty to contribute meaningfully to the knowledge bank to the society we should develop such students who are innovative we have to develop the creative thinking in the minds of the students we have to give them opportunities in the class to open their minds because unless they open human mind is like a parachute it opens it works only when it is open our mind is like parachute it works only when it is open so we have to give these opportunities to our students to be innovative creative and our education system has been had to be learning oriented instead of teaching oriented experiential learning has to be the part of it so my point is that we need such leaders who will have a culture in the organization who will develop the culture in the organization wherein every employee that one of these uh, resource persons shared his ideas he said that the leader in the aradani group he allowed the employees if their bosses don't listen to them they can directly write to them write to him this is the kind of leadership we have want and even now in india you must have seen there is lot of a uh, lot of uh, encouragement that is being given to the entrepreneurship development smart india you know swachh bharat win the swachh bharat smart india and so many so many such schemes you have seen so many people coming coming out of it and there is a encouragement by the government by the various industries angel investment investors are there premji aziz narayan murthy and there are so many such companies those who are helping the entrepreneurs now we have so many billionaires and millionaires now so many starters coming up in the in in india this is because of the very encouraging world that we have now coming to the to the powerpoint presentation i have madam you can start a leader for me is all the very important now if i in imd you can see we our at imd that is bharti vidyapeeth university institute of management and entrepreneurship development we are ranked in the top 75 business schools and one of one of the reasons why we are in the top 75 is innovation our seven tier counseling system five tier feedback system our industry institute partnership summit the way we organize there have been industry institute partnership summits that are organized in different parts of the world but the way we organize it then our uh, the students driven activities there are many such interesting activities we have started one of the innovative ideas that we implemented and that we, you all would be interested in it, that is cwted that is community work through entrepreneurship development see we are all well placed therefore we are feeling blessed and we are not stressed but there are thousands and crores of people street vendors self employed people a pani puri wala garage wala there are so many people they can't afford to join the business schools the formal education they are deprived of this what we have done it i am it is we are asking our students under the guidance of the faculty to do, do the hand holding with the street vendors suppose a pani puri wala is there he invests few few hundred rupees see there are three purposes that we serve we don't know not only support him grow but we want our students to understand what hard work is all about we want our students to know what entrepreneurship is all about we want our students to know how a small business of pani puri wala we have seen of pav bhaji wala we have seen even dhirubhai anna ambari he was he, he started his business with few thousand karsan bhai patel nirma he used to sell door to door the detergent powder godrej too so all these businessmen started from small with few hundred rupees so you can be a big industrialist with this small so this is the lesson i want to give to my students and what they do is they identify the uh, these entrepreneurs the self employed people or street vendors they tell them now like pani puri wala is there they tell them how by using gloves hand gloves nice clean water having a dustbin beside him if he has this good appearance how this will have a good impression on the customers these are small small things that we can do 
and more than 100 such entrepreneurs we have helped their business is growing people are doing great and we are very happy that our students our students are learning management our students are learning entrepreneurship through this single cwted that is called common community work through entrepreneurship development so there is social work there is understanding and at the same time the students are learning what hard work is all about because they spend lakhs of rupees for the fees they got a lot got a lot of money in their pocket but i don't want them to spend we have a career mela here we have a launching pad wherein we are trying to develop the entrepreneurs so these are this is what even the educational institutions can do as an as a teacher i have to again try innovative ways today the most difficult task is to have the attention of the students if it is a 60 or 2 hours class in 2 hours class if you want your students to be very attentive then you have to adopt different teaching pedagogies you have to understand the learning styles of the students and adjust adapt your learning the teaching style with them so coming to this uh, PowerPoint presentation, I will not take much of your time. Uh, very fast, I will do. Now, the question is, who does not want to achieve success? You, me, who doesn't want? How will one know how to exactly go about in a structured way to the goals one wants to achieve? So you have your goal in your mind. You want to be a leader. And remember, there's a difference between a manager and the leader. A manager, because of his authority, he leads. But a leader, because of the various qualities in him, his leadership styles, the way he leads by an example, he has many followers. The mantras to succeed gives the qualities one needs to have to achieve the success desired. So what these qualities I have done, these are 4D plus 8Ps is equal to smiles. So we would like to have a smile, a winning smile on our faces, and that smile we can bring through this simple formula. Next slide. Now you can see here, these are the famous personalities in the world. In the world, I would say, Neera Chopra, dedication. So four Ds here. There are so many Ds you can uh, discipline and all that are definitely important. But these are the four Ds I have explained here. If you want to be a good leader, you must have that kind of dedication, what we have seen in Neera Chopra in this uh, Olympics. Mirabai Chanu. See, we have, I have deliberately taken north, south, east, west. So Mirabai Chanu, you must have, you know her. I don't have to explain her determination, you must have seen. Sanjit Dedulkar, the dynamism. If we want, I am going to give the example what a leader should be like. Even uh, for that matter, Dhoni. Dhoni is also the best, one of the best examples. I and Sachin or Dhoni, the dynamism that we have, the qualities that they have, and Vishwanath and Adhan, you know, in chess, decisiveness is so important. Fraction of seconds, you lose or you win. So these are the four Ds that I want. Every leader, each one of you or each one of me, we are leaders in our own fields, so we have to develop these qualities. Next slide. Now, now these are the eight P's that I want uh, we all to have if we want to be leaders. And then once you are a good leader, then you can definitely develop a good culture in your organization for everything to grow. Here, the passion. Now, the four personalities we have seen, they had the passion. Even Sachin, you must be knowing, he's not even graduate. But the kind of passion he had for cricket and his Bharat Ratna, see, the, see, the, see his achievements. For that matter, whether it is Ratan Tata or Dhirubhai Ambani, Narayan Murthy, or we see Indians which are heading Harvard Business School. See, twice Harvard Business School is led by an Indian. No, even present Dean is Indian. You name the company, we have our Indians there as the CEOs. Why? Because we Indians have great qualities. One is our great IQ, intelligent quotient. Our children in London, America have proved 
that their IQ is better than Einstein. The top 10 spelling competitions, seven are Indians. So passion is very, very important. IQ, emotional quotient, that is again great quality that leaders have, must have emotional quotient. Third is spiritual quotient. The fourth competition quotient. And the fifth in, and this pandemic, you must have seen the adversity quotient. How we Indians lived, how we Indians faced the first wave, the second wave. Now there's a talk about third wave, but I'm sure the third wave will not come if we continue following the SOPs, the names, numbers are in Hindustan Times. If you read today's Hindustan Times, my interview, my comments, my views on reopening of the schools and colleges uh, has been published. So I very clearly mentioned there that if we continue following and uh, supporting the government in all the measures, then there should not be a third wave. Our children, fortunately, thank God, they even if they get infection, it is mild and they recover very fast. So we should go for reopening of the schools, reopening the colleges, 18 plus. If they have vaccinated, they have taken both the doses. We should allow them to attend the classes offline. And many universities you know, and colleges in different parts have parts of India have started blended learning. So this is again innovation. This is going to be a new normal now. Digital learning, we shifted to digital learning now. Digital hub, we also developed. This is again something innovation. So we keep on innovating. And if you don't innovate, then you are not the leader. And if you want to be the leader, you must keep on innovating, not at your level, but at every department level, you must do that. So passion, then you need to have, uh, Mr. Michael, how are you? Mr. Michael. Mr. Hi. Michael, how are you? Yes. I, hope you I hope you recognize me. I was in Sweden. Thrice. Yes, Dr. Veneker, yes. I I had taken few sessions in your uh, uh, program. Yes, yes, I remember. Remember, I, I, I have, uh, I got the invitation. Yes. So I will be, I will be having a presentation right now. Yes, so, sir. Yes, yeah, uh, let me know me? when, when I can start. So three forty-five is fine, sir, for you. Sorry. Three forty-five. Yes. Yes. Three forty-five is fine for you. I'll take just yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, minutes. Okay, okay. I, I will take just yes, 345. Yeah, you stay with us. Stay with yes. us. At yeah. 345, we'll start your session. Okay. So, so I must thank you for accepting your invitation. I'll just finish in my presentation in the next 20, 20 minutes. And it's great to see you from Sweden joining our Atal FDP, which is a national level faculty yeah. development program sponsored by Government of India, AICTE. So that's great. I Thank see, you. I see. I wait, I wait until, until it's my turn. Yeah, so kindly. I'll let you know as soon as your turn. Uh, Thank well, you. As soon as, uh, yeah, I finish it. You stay with us, sir. Thank you. Yes, I, I'll, be, I'll be here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So people skills. Now, now you look at uh, Mr. Mikkel from Sweden. It is the people skills. So we have such great people. I've been to Sweden many times. I've seen the kind of people skills they have and the kind of uh, leadership styles I've seen in different parts of the world. In Japan also, I present a paper there, sit in the nano and play the piano in Gakushin University, Japan. So there I presented a paper and that was a story about nano. Nano, the, the, when it was launched, nano was called as the Miss Universe because for $2,000, nobody thought that there could be a car. But we Indians did that. Mr. Ratan Tata did that. It's a different story that it was not positioned properly. It was taken as a cheap product. It started catching fire. So we don't see it anymore. But the passion in Tata Ratan Tata brought Nano on in the market. The people skills of Ratan Tata today is one of the great leaders. The product of Tata's or Godre's, for that matter, Apple, or there are so many other companies like in India, you see that their products once you Philips, you're sure that is what we say. So you and me as product also, we should have great qualities in us. And these are the four Ds and these are the eight Ps as a product we should have in our in ourselves. Positive thinking is very important if you want to be a leader because you, even if there's a crisis, there's a disaster, people look at you for the solution. You cannot do panic. You cannot show that you don't have the answer. 
Many times you really don't have the answer, but your smile, one smile by you to your, your followers, looking at the people, just have a smile. They'll feel that nothing to worry. My boss, my leader has the solution. So innovation is possible. Leader has to just have a smile on his face. Patience, innovation or a leader, you can't think about without a patience. You develop, you must have seen, we get 100 products in the market launched, but hardly five to 10 succeed. And that requires a lot of patience, whether as a teacher, as a product manager, as an innovator, or wherever you are, you need to have a lot of patience to succeed, to be a good leader. And very important, paying back to society. I follow a 25 formula. See, first 25 years of our life we spend in earning, uh, sorry, learning. The next 25 years we should spend in earning. And 50 plus, now the, these young generation, generation Y, generation Z, in their 20s and 30s only, they have started paying back to the society. That is a great thing happening. So we have to pay back to the society. So innovation again needed. Now we see so many green products launched. Now there is, uh, we are discouraging plastic bottles. We are trying to have hotels. You are, we are trying to have buildings. We are trying to have every product, which is green product, eco-friendly product. So this is how we have to pay back to the society. We have to see the sustainability. Perseverance is another very important quality we all need to have, and that is a great quality a one leader should have. And prayer, still regardless of the class, creed, religion that we belong to, we always say that God is one, there is the Almighty, and we must ensure anything that we do when even the doctors you must have seen, once they try everything, they, say, they simply tell you pray. Now it is he or she who will have the answer. So these are the eight P's. Every one of us, if we want to be good leaders, we should have. And every good leader has these qualities, the four Ds that we just discussed. And these are the eight Ps that the leaders should have if they want to succeed. Now, coming to the next slide. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the next is uh, four Ds plus eight Ps. You can see that. The Kurjekar, uh, uh, you can see this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see. Smile. Okay. <laughs> smiles. Okay. So four days plus uh, eight P's, the winning combination to bring smiles on everyone's face. Why do we innovate? Why do you require a leader? A leader's first job is to bring a smile, bring a smile on everyone's face. Now look at some leaders. Now even if you see the Narendra Ji Modi or for that matter, Atal Bihari Ji Bajpayee or for that matter, any great of uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru or any such great leaders that we have seen. And these leaders, the first thing they do, they bring a smile on their faces first, telling the people, yes, I am for you here. So similarly, a company's leaders, our leaders, even my boss, Dr. Patangaraji Kadam, he always had a smile on his face. And he is a great leader I have ever seen. At the age of 20, he started Bharti Vidya Peet. Today, we have 180 institutions spread different parts of India. We have pre primary schools to research level institutions. He could meet everybody, one of the great leaders I have seen. So, this is here in this 4D plus 8P is equal to smiles. I call it a smiles, S M I L E S. Sustainable. Anything that you do must be sustainable. Your mission, again, what business you are in, you have to very clearly tell. Your mission has to be very, very clear. You have to decide what mission you are in, what is your mission is as a student, as a leader, as a director. And you see anywhere you go, they write their vision and they write the mission. That must be very, very clear. Otherwise, you are lost. Innovation. This is here. If you want a smile, this eye for innovation that comes. Now, you have to be innovative as a leader. Then only you can bring smiles. And love, love for love. You must love what you do. You must enjoy what you do. And you must do what you enjoy. And if you love what you do, I don't think you're doing a job. You, if you love something, you simply enjoy everything and you're never tired. Empathy. You must have the empathy and you must think about the society at large. And if we have this smile, sustainable mission with innovation, love and empathy, then success is yours 
as a leader, success is yours. This is the small formula I developed out of my experience of 36 years. The next matter. Very shortly, I will talk to you about journey to six stations in the next, uh, uh, I think, 33. So 12 minutes, 12, 3.45, I'll stop. Journey to the six stations I'm talking about. This is, again, a theory I developed. This theory, which I, when I developed, uh, I got an International Speaker Award in Bangladesh when I developed this theory. And very importantly, this theory is of six stations. What I've done is, the employees have been categorized. Employee means each one of us. Every person on this earth can be categorized in six distinct groups that can be labeled as stations. A station, what I mean, it is a unique destination which these employees have identified for themselves as their career goals and the resultant approaches and work culture adopted by them for this purpose. Next slide. So each one of us has a vision in our mind. Each one of us has a destination, like I want to go to Delhi tomorrow. So that is a destination. Similarly, we have some destination in our mind. And for that, either we are gifted with certain qualities or we have to develop certain qualities in us. And these qualities, which I already shared with you. Now here, the first station, I'm going a little fast, expressway, Mumbai, Delhi, expressway coming up. So 12, 24 hours journey will be reduced to 12 hours journey again because of innovation. Thanks to Nitin Gadgari, his leadership style. We in India, we see so many roads, the connectivity improved, the metros coming up, and that's a great thing the India, so the government is doing, and we'll see a lot of things happening, the bullet train, and so many things. So here, still station. Now, a prime minister, the president, or the CEO, the MD managing director, or the dean, or the vice chancellor, has to belong to this particular station that is called steel station. S-T-E-E-L, steel station. People at the top who will never compromise with the principles and management philosophy of the board. So these are the people who should not compromise with the quality. They should not compromise with the transparency. They should not compromise with anything that is not that which is against. And they have to see the interest. Sadar Vallabhai Patel. I named this station after him. Sadar Vallabhai Patel, Iron Man, still station. He never compromised. For him, his people, people in India were the priority. So he did everything possible. And that's why you see the United India today. So still station, we want the vice chancellor or the dean or the CEO to belong to this station who should never compromise with any principles. The next, so this is the great quality they should have as a leader. The next is will station. So if you have a great leader like them at the helm of the affairs, now we need people as the ministers, uh, if, the, if the vice chancellor has uh, is belonging to steel station, then he needs various deans, you now various directors of the principals, they need various head of the departments who will belong to this will station. What I mean by this is everybody should be extremely dedicated, sincere in their approach, hardworking, result oriented, and they must have the willpower to take the organization to new heights. They must have the willpower to innovate something new. They should have the willpower to give something new to the society to the organization, to the customers. You have to see that everything that we offer to the customers is better than competitors, is uh, delivered faster than the competitors, it is cheaper than the competitors, and it is good for the society, eco-friendly. Then only you can succeed. So this is build station. Next is skill station. Suppose the head of the departments are good, ministers are good, but there are teachers. These teachers need to be skilled in the factory, the steel factory, in the cement industry particularly, the burner is as important as the salesman is. So that skill, skilled people, skilled employees are very important. If there is no skill in the skull, everything is nil. We have to develop those skills and that's the reason why such FDPs, such uh, capacity building programs are organized. So this next station is we need people in the organization to innovate, to who are skilled enough to take the responsibility and to bring something new out of it. 
Now, next is hill station. So if you want to be a good innovator, then you must belong to the hill station. That is, there are two hill stations. One is negative hill station and one is positive hill station. Air India or there are such companies where people are enjoying everything else, perks, benefits, everything, but not the job. But, and there are so many private organizations, there are many, so many government organizations as well. Bharti Vidyapit is one where people enjoy their job and uh, as if they are the hill station. At hill station, we go to the hill station to enjoy. We are free from every tension. We are free from all botherations. We just enjoy with our family. Similarly, if you are doing any innovation, if you are doing anything new, if you are doing your job for that matter, your, your approach must be free from all these botherations. As if you are in the hill station, you must enjoy what you are doing. You must enjoy the job, enjoy what you are doing. And you, that is again cool minded employees. Then only the innovations would be possible. Then only you can be a good leader. This is Hill Station. Next is Still Station. S T I W L. Apne Muki advertisement dekli ugi. Husband ko wo husband ya wife abhi yaad nahi. Then statue. So there are some people who are like statue in the organization. Still, this is a small group of employees for whom the work can wait. Their boss can wait, and the client also can wait. They are least bothered about anything. They enjoy their job. Sorry, they don't enjoy their job. They enjoy the perks. Hum Hindi mein kehte hain, banero bull, salary powerful. Banero bull, salary powerful. Matlo tension. Nahi tu family paayegi pension. Kaam karo na karo, uski zikr zarur karo. Zikr karo na karo, uski fikr zarur karo. We see some employees in every organization who show that they are doing so many things. They will say, Are, kitna kaam laga hai mujhe boss mein. Ye karo, wo karo, wo karo. And they are actually doing nothing. But one thing is good in them. They will tell you, tera putla banega, tu ja, tu chal, tu kaam kar chal. Mujhe disturb mat kar, mai tujhe disturb nahi karunga. I am enjoying, I am happy. They don't mind even sleeping. In Japan, you sleep because you are tired. But here we have some employees who sleep on the job. They are still stationed. So these still stations are danger stations. These are two uh, danger stations. So as a leader, we have to see wherever there is still station, wherever there are people, there in innovation is not possible. The organization will grow, grow, grow old, old and old, and will disappear. So we have to be careful about these people. We have to counsel them and get back them to work. And finally, I have five, five minutes more. Bill station. B I W L bill. bill. These employees set their own priorities and work pace. They are the ultimate boss of their own assignments, thus liability to the organization. So this is the bill station. They are very dangerous people for any innovation, for any organization. And these bill people, they are the liability. They are shakunis, they are mantra. They create all kinds of problems in the organization. They may be one. One shakuni was enough to have Mahabharata. But you require a lot of people to fight that fire. So build station. So we have to do counseling to these people, ensure that they improve. If they don't, then you should use, then you should your strategies like HR, PR, LR. Use your human relations, use your public relations, GR, memo, then LR, lorry receipt. Put them in lorry and send them out. Then only your organization can be innovative. And the very interesting part of this theory if you remove H, it is ill. If you remove ST, it is ill. If you remove B, it is ill. And the last slide, madam. And if you remove, last, is is Ah, you move W, it is ill. You remove SK, it is ill. So if you remove this, it becomes an ill organization, last slide. Your organization becomes ill. You can't think of innovation. You can't think of good leadership. You can't think of good culture. So if you want to be a good leader, if you want to develop a good culture for the innovation, creativity, brainstorming, you want to develop next generation, then these four Ds plus eight please smiles and these stations we have to adopt 
so that we can be good leaders, we can bring in innovation, and we can really serve our country the way we want, and we can very fruitfully contribute to the knowledge bank and to the society at large. This is what I wanted to talk for two hours, but we I want to give enough time to our guests from Sweden. Michael, I've been there, I delivered 30 lectures there, two years. We have a collaboration with Illinois University, Sweden, and uh, great to see Michael there. And uh, Dr. Sonia is the initiator of that uh, particular collaboration with the Linnaeus University. I've been to more than 25 countries, including Japan, where I presented paper, which I just now shared. So I've seen, I shared this in, uh, there, there were some innovative ideas that I developed and shared with the students there in entrepreneurship development uh, program in uh, Sweden as well. So my time is up, there are still two minutes. But I must thank the uh, I must thank all the listeners here, all the participants from different parts of the world. I would say with Mr. Mikhail here with us, and every participant has enjoyed. I could see their feedback. Every resource person, I could listen to some of them. I've seen their feedback. Every participant has given excellent feedback about every resource person. My team has done a wonderful job. I really enjoyed this FDP. This is the second FDP that we organized. The first FDP uh, sponsored by AICT, again under Atal scheme, that was on machine learning and AI. Again, the same team of 11 faculty members were there. And uh, finally, at the end, I would like uh, Irekar and uh, Dr. Pawar, Balchit, and Kurchekar to write, to just name those 11 faculty who have been supporting to you. And uh, please ensure that you keep up your good work. Thank you. And uh, welcome, Ji. Uh, welcome, Mikhail. Namaste from India. Mikhail. Okay. Hi. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, welcome. I actually, uh, I'm quite nervous. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> I, was, I was just sharing my day, but I hope I can uh, 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 tell you some, some uh, sharing of our experiences. So, so just one minute, so, so uh, our, our faculty colleague would like to introduce you to yeah, the Yeah, give me a moment, sir. Yeah, give me a moment. Yeah. I will introduce you. They will okay. introduce yes, you. So, thank O2, you. O2, O2. Yes, I was just checking that everything is okay. You can hear me well. Yeah, yes, you yes, can. Yes, so we can, we hear can hear very we can well hear you as yeah. if you are in our uh, institution itself here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I take the opportunity to propose the vote of thanks. Uh, Dr. Vernika started on the point as to why IMED is among the top 75 B schools in India. And the basic foundation for that was innovation. He also highlighted on our uh, innovative events like the Industry Institute Kutugia Partnership Mera. Summit and CWTED. Uh, he also Take focused close. upon as a teacher how we need to be more innovative to catch the attention of students. Uh, the highlight of the presentation, you all will agree with me, was the 4D and the 8P, which is going to bring a smile on everybody's face. So that was the uh, interesting part of the presentation and also the four five stations which Sir told us, the steel, the will, the skill, the hill, still and bill station. Sir, I'm sure the participants are going to ponder over this thought of yours, the theories which you gave. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, on this note, I, I welcome uh, Professor Miguel Salinas. Sir, excuse me if I'm saying it, in a, I hope I'm correct when I'm saying your name. It's Professor Miguel Salinas. I take the honor of introducing uh, Sir. Uh, sir is a senior lecturer in design uh, at Linus University, of Sweden. He is an experienced senior lecturer with a demonstrated history of working in the higher education industry and is skilled in pedagogies for design, sustainability, spatial and furniture design and design history. Sir has graduated from the University of Chiel, Faculty of Architecture and the University of Gothenburg School of Design and Arts where he did his Master of Fine Arts MFA, Interior Design and Furniture uh, Furniture Interior Design. So he started his uh, career as a, as, a, as a lecturer in HDK School of Design and Craft, Gothenburg, Sweden, where he was the head of the Interior Designing Department and then uh, became the Senior Lecturer in Design at Linus University, Sweden, uh, where he was the head of the department, then the head of the design school and currently the program coordinator for master's program innovation through business engineering and design from 2013 till date. So also has a proficiency in number of languages like Spanish, Swedish, English, German, French and Mandarin. Uh, he's also associated with a number of formal uh, groups like the design for school change, social change, the European Association for International Education, uh, design thinking group, 
sustainability professionals to name a few. So we welcome you, sir, on board. And sir is an assistant professor currently, Master of Fine Arts, which is one of the three programs responsible for the innovation uh, master at Linnaeus University uh, in the uh, city of Faxo, Sweden. So indeed, uh, an honor to have you here, sir. I hand over the dice to you, please, sir. Take over. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The, the honor is mine, actually. I was just surprised I got the invitation. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? So I will start sharing my screen. Yes. I have prepared some slides. Let me see if I if I cope with that. Uh, there might be, there is my... You can see my slides now? Yes, sir. absolutely. Yes, we can then, see. Yeah, so I have prepared something that I would like to share with you. It's a, uh, it's a question of the innovation and collaborative creativity. And I want to give you examples of creative management and leadership as we have done in the in, in Bekwe University, in, um, in Linnaeus University in Bekwe. Yeah, and thank you so much for, for the invitation. I, I'm so happy and dear professors, uh, doctors, and all members of the uh, I'm ED. Um, it's, a, it's a pleasure uh, to be with you today and share my experiences. Let me see if I dare. Yes. And I, I will start to try to contextualize myself. You have here uh, pr the presentation. Uh, then I will have to, I have, will try to explain design as an agent of change, and we have sustainability in, uh, as, as part of it. And, and also the question of why collaboration, why we do this uh, there in, in our program. And then some, some uh, share the experience of how we do manage the master innovation through the models we applied and also uh, what we discover and, and have uh, uh, used uh, as model for, um, for education. So I'm from Santiago, as you heard, and, and you see that my eyes have seen uh, until I was 26 uh, in the city of Santiago. I have Los Andes in behind uh, there. But I, I came to Sweden, uh, to Gothenburg actually, and I w became engaged in uh, Vecque and Linnaeus University and, 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 cre and created and, and together with other co colleagues, uh, new programs in design. And now I am Pune. Uh, and, and, and it was also a, a, my curiosity that I have to know it, uh, where is my context here? This is the school and this is the city. Well, it's very much, it's very much a, 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 a stereotype, but at least I know where you are. And, and I have to, to, to confess I'm completely ignorant. Uh, in in in, uh, in the Indian context, so I have to go and look at into design uh, there, and it was really interesting. So when thinking of design, it's not so much about what is pleasant for the eyes; it's about form and content. And this is how the new uh, design theories we are applying. Uh, the 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 example of the water drop. Uh, I use it with my students, and I ask them, uh, can you tell me which one of these is the most expensive? Well, the form and the content is given there, uh, visualized in, in, this, in, these two, in these three examples. And form and content cannot only be understood in one context, it has to be uh, understood in different contexts. And in the example of the Red Crow, this product, which is a service for, for humankind, have to be translated in forms that can be understood, that transform and maintain the same content that the, the original Red Cross has uh, into other areas of, of society, into other cultures. And form and content is primordial to understand because the impact of design is huge, you know. Uh, and this is something that we, we uh, uh, discuss a, a lot of what is what is denoted in the form, what we see in the form, but also what is the meaning and what is the impact of that through the, its connotations in culture. This is a product uh, from uh, Sarah, a fashion uh, industry uh, that have to be called back 
after just a few hours of, of their uh, presentation, because as you see, it's a pullover for children. It has a yellow uh, star and stripes them. But the associations, the connotation of the yellow scar make a horrible impression immediately. Uh, as you see uh, what is given in the um, in the second image. So form and content are primordial to understand when thinking of design. It's not so much about what is aesthetically pleasing, it's what is going to have a meaning uh, in the use and what affects and have an impact in both humans and of course on Earth. So nowadays, when we think of design, we have three levels of understanding. The first level down is the level of artifact, the products and the services we usually deal in design. But artifacts together create system or the architecture. Architecture is, is system design and system thinking design. It, uh, but now we also move when thinking of form and content and, and connotation in the realm of mindset. What is behind this artifact system, uh, what we can appreciate and, as values and norms? We move from tangible products to intangible services, as well as local solution to global solution. So, this is what we call the meta design approach. I give you examples directly there. We're thinking of artifact and sustainability. We have an example here of a shelf which is using the deep understanding of wood technology. Actually, this shelf is standing by the cells, no hinges added. It's just a deep understanding how pieces of wood can work together and make this structure possible which is excellent for circularity. You don't need to think of different processes of recycling. It's just one material. When thinking of system, and this is something I, 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 we have to mention, is that we work together with IKEA as a partner. And when thinking of system, we see the, the, the flat package they have invented as part of their uh, strategies. The flat packages may enable the, the, the company to uh, disrupt the process of production and give the, the consumer the responsibility to assemble it. But in the system, the flat, the flat package concerning sustainability is uh, enable that the consumer get a product which has a good impact in on earth while trying to avoid those spaces uh, that are created uh, in the package. So the flat packages as part of a of a much bigger system of uh, uh, of production. And finally, mindset. Well, the wedding industry is enormous. You know all over the world uh, that people are investing enormous sums of money to get the, the white uh, dress going there. Well, which is, which is just accidentally, I would say, is, is created by Queen Victoria when she married her, her German prince. She uses that. It was the first time that uh, people, people married no, with different colors, with different, uh, but as we imitate the aristocracy, the wealthy uh, taste, well, this became a mindset. This became a value. The white is the, what we uh, have to use in order to engage in the uh, But this mindset and changes, times and changes, the values are changing. So what will be actually the right color for, for a wedding? It's something that we can discuss. And when thinking of values, we have to do also to understand that the world is not homogeneous. There is, there is uh, the values uh, change over time and, and societies also change uh, all the time. And you can see Sweden in the very uh, extreme part. It. Actually, Swe Sweden is a very e extreme country considering what values are, uh, they are. Yeah. Chile, where I come from, and India are 
in, in the middle of, of, of this earth there. So, but we are moving all the time, considering. So it's something that we have to consider when creating uh, solutions for, for consumers. And for, for that, we use the theory of needs, not the Maslow theory, but the Max Neff fundamental human need, where subsistence is still uh, a priority, but we have nine, uh, eight more, which are uh, non-hierarchical and are, are uh, the, the, uh, the most um, important for humans. And this is something that we share. From the point of view of design and innovation, we can see that the needs had been constant. Uh, the Egyptians, the Indian, the European have all the same needs, but the way we have solved them, the way we have uh, give them a solution has been different. And this is something that we have to take in account of, that the imperative of sustainability are uh, urging us to find other solutions, better solutions for the same needs. And this is when the, the innovation uh, uh, model, so the design thinking model with these two uh, diamonds uh, is used in the innovation master. Uh, and much of my time I've been working with the design brief and to the problem concepts so of the second part. But nowadays we have to go, go uh, even uh, uh, more deep in the first part, in the trigger. And this is when I, when I understand entrepreneurship as the capacity of understanding what is needed, not what it wants, what it needed, and also see opportunities. And this is a huge field there. When, when triggering a group of engineer designers uh, and, and business students in order to understand what are the possibilities go into a discover journey, uh, which I, I usually call it uh, the little red riding hood um, uh, syndrome, because curiosity uh, is going to help you in this journey to articulate the problem of the design challenge. And it's urgent. We are facing uh, an urgency on Earth, and of course we have some guidelines that, that we use. For, for it. So, so we are trying to apply it. But these 17 goals are abstract. So how to make possible then to enable them in the daily practice, in the decision making, in the development of new products and services that uh, actually uh, can, can um, reduce uh, uh, the environmental uh, impact and make a better environmental impact. So this is what we have, creative collaboration. And it's just two examples. This is the class when we have designers, engineers, and, and, and business students working with teachers representing uh, the three areas. And this is both theory and practice, which is very much uh, 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 valued by, by the students. Uh, here is my colleague, Sonia Villore, uh, uh, and uh, uh, he is one of uh, she is one of the or the coordinator together with uh, uh, Peter Lerman and I. Creative collaboration is using leadership to confront the challenge of having many competences into into focus on one goal. Uh, the social, environmental, and economic aspects that make things bearable, equitable, and viable are all in the core of, of sustainability. And this is things that designers can not do alone. Not the business uh, people, no engineers can solve it um, alone. We need all the competences because the, uh, the problems we are uh, confronting are extremely complex. And going back to, to the model of the, uh, of the, of the innovation, um, then we have also in the first say the exploring of the challenge. 
And this is when we put, and, and we can use the leadership to, uh, let's say, foster the, the finding of the objective, not the wants, but the needs. Uh, uh, finding of, of the fact, what is already done there, uh, and, and who is having knowledge uh, in it. And of course, also trying to find and frame the problem. What is actually the problem? What is the, uh, actually the needs uh, there? Then we start with the idea generation, as you know, when we, we create the ideas, we brainstorm that. But the stage one has been one of the most important aspect in order to define what is going to be uh, the, the, the frame for, for the innovation. When we start ideating, we have to start in the brainstorming, if the ideas for what, what did they do? And of course, then have the resources to make, to enable the feasibility of these ideas. Innovation means ideas uh, implemented. So not uh, only ideas are, are not enough. You have to have also a strategy for implementation. So in the in the first part, discovering, as we say, uh, that it needs many competencies. Innovation happens when you have the diversity of there. And this is our people and, and, and Professor, Professor Veneker, uh, Dr. Veneker mentioned it, skills, knowledge, skills and abilities are primordial to it. And, and, and the knowledge, the deep knowledge that the students have, the, the competences have. And, uh, so what influences then ideation? As I said, the previous knowledge, the expertise, I, I and this is the difference because premium no, no, knowledge have to do with your long term memory. It's not only what you have read; it's all the human experiences that you can relate to for certain problems and for certain solutions. And of course, your of course your expertise when thinking of your design, your business, or your engineering uh, expertise. As I said, so explore the problem and understand what it is the situation of the or type of the problem. In the first uh, step with the with the students, we usually give them quite a structure of problems, but later they will be confronted to the ill structure problems. And not all people will be comfortable with that, but this is part of the training. Personality traits. Uh, uh, are important, but the most important is the openness to experience. So having the little red riding hood uh, syndrome, go into the wood and confront the world and be open for those experiences. After the journey, you will learn that you have, uh, you will, you will understand, you learn a lot. And for that, in the, it is why the, the, the white, uh, 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 realm of, of divergent and thinking uh, is helping with the attitude that you go for ideation, but also that you, you think that creative thinking is not bizarre and also demands a lot of training. Professor Vanneker mentioned uh, the, the, the aspect of, le of leadership, how important it is to educate good leaders, creative leaders there. And you will see that the creative leader will be confronted to three uh, levels to enable innovation. The one is the people that this leader is going to work with, what I call the individual influence uh, that influence the creative thinkers. The, with their traits, abilities, and knowledge. But this person will also be uh, connected to uh, the organization itself that influences by its structure, the processes, the reward, and the strategy in general. And in the center, this leadership will have the team, uh, the diversity of, of knowledge that will, will be influenced by group processes uh, a climate in the in the processes and the leadership itself. So 
I'll show you the theoretical framework. I'm, I'm having expertise in, in innovation psychology, and they have studied the collaborative creativity and what, how these factors interrelated, as I showed you there. So the team members variables, so, so how the team is and their individuals will uh, 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 have an impact in the innovation. And the team related process will also have an impact. And this is important for a leader to know that there will be cognitive processes, social process, and also motivational process. And this all, uh, these two areas are interrelated and have a mutual dependency. I give you an example here from, from uh, our, our work with the student that personality has a big impact, uh, the intrinsic motivation on, on them, uh, the cohesiveness of the team. So, so the leader have to understand this is, this is a group of professionals. They are not be the best friends, but they don't be either uh, so distant to each other. Uh, conflict are welcome. There is nothing to be afraid of conflict. The only thing that you, a leader have to avoid is that these conflicts are personal. But conflict, because of different perspectives, are welcome because that gives you uh, a, a good uh, base for decision making. And, and norms of participation in the way the, the team negotiate agreements there. We have also uh, the task structure, as I mentioned before, a structure or ill structure problem, how the team perceives the challenge. Is this a, it's an impossible challenge or is something that is boring? Both extremes are, are not good for innovation. And when thinking finally of the area of team relating process, a leader have to be um, aware of the cognitive processes, trying to uh, promote the long-term memory use because, because it's reaching association, uh, to combine the different uh, knowledge there, and also uh, and, uh, promote the intrinsic uh, motivation, the personal there, but also the shared one in the teams. And finally, uh, the social processes the collective ownership of the ideas, the willingness to collaborate, the positive content within the, pro the project, uh, and also uh, that they are uh, able to reflect on and make decisions that can change goal uh, with, with their respectability. To summarize, uh, uh, I will say that Innovation management and it, it has in focus the creative leadership, and the creative leader have to understand that in the teams, uh, she or he will find adapters, those co-workers that do do things better, that can take a challenge as it is and and prefer a well structured uh, problem, but also the innovators which do which uh, do things differently. And they are much, very much accustomed with ill structures there. Both are necessary to uh, enable an, an, an inter an, a good um, uh, innovation process. And it need to, it, it, the, a, leader, a leader need to foster collaboration in uh, there and enable the use of knowledge, skills and abilities. And finally, I have my references here to you if you are interested in them. So I will thank you so much for having me today uh, for the opportunity. I, I wonder if you have some questions. Uh, yes. Anybody in the audience, participants, if you have any questions for sir, please uh, raise your hand and unmute yourself. Uh, Indrajit Kaur, you have raised your hand. You have any query? You can unmute and you can ask. Yes, please. yes, madam. I have a query. Can I ask? Yes, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, sir, what is the difference between uh, Western innovations uh, with respect to the Indian innovations? 
what exactly uh-huh. the focus uh, what apart well, from jugad yeah uh, uh well uh when when i hear uh, j- 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 please forgive me if if i if i uh, i have the the wrong understanding but uh, and we have to address uh, 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 sustainability with the three the three, three aspect is economic social and ecological so uh, just uh, focusing on sustainability in the way of the environmental impact is not enough there and this is when i refer that uh, when i tell that don't think so much about profit economy is about benefit and that means that the social aspect of all innovation uh, are important thank you sir thank you very much and i wouldn't say there is any different in there because the process is similar what is different is the experiences you have what are you going to put together in there might be different and this is something that we have to consider when thinking of local solutions we don't have a solution that can be uh, always been applicable all over the world we have to find solutions that are local and the conditions of india and the condition of the western uh, might be similar sometimes but might also be quite uh, different sometimes absolutely so i suppose that there are no other queries so can i go ahead and propose the formal word of thanks uh, indeed the professor magil salinas it was an honor having you here and uh, you just so like much. your presentation i would say uh, the title the creative management and leadership your presentation was equally creative not only the content but also the slides you spoke about uh, you uh, you started with the example of zara which we all could relate to you also does, uh, told us about the meta design approach and uh, beautifully explained the artifacts the systems and the mindset the need theory of needs is also very much well explained by you the innovation model and you very rightly said that curiosity is something which is going to help you on the journey of innovation and we actually truly appreciate the little red riding hood uh, riding hood syndrome that you have spoken about that was very interesting you also spoke about the creative problem solving model the stage 1 that is exploring the channel stage 2 that is idea generation and stage 3 that is preparing for action and you very rightly said sir that uh, only ideas are not important the execution is very important you also spoke about what influences ideation the levels of enabling innovation so uh, and to sum up uh, basically uh, the highlights of your presentation uh, on innovation management were creative leadership adapter and innovator foster collaboration and enable the use of knowledge skills and abilities very rightly said sir uh, thank you so much this session is uh, it was very insightful for all our participants and uh, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. So- Thank you so much. What a nice resume. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. And you goodbye. So See you. Goodbye, See you sir. another day. Thank, thank you. you sir. Goodbye, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Um, participants, uh, we would now uh, like to have feedback uh, from a uh, few of the uh, uh, participants. So I would like to request uh, uh, Professor Vikrant Nangre to please unmute himself and. Uh, share his thoughts of the entire fdp of uh, five days yes ma'am yes thank you ma'am so uh, good afternoon one and all i professor vikrant nangre from zeel institute of management pune i would like to take an opportunity to express my views on the fdp which is on innovation management in the last five days uh, we had different different speakers which have talked on the various topics such as innovation innovation management uh, then uh, adoption of technology in the in decision making then uh, need of creative and critical thinking for innovation and execution and the various government schemes for the innovation and we will definitely use these insights which are coming from this uh, five days fdp for the quality education as well as uh, societal development so on behalf of all participants from the academies as well as industries i express my sincere gratitude to aict as well as uh, uh, dr sachin vernikar sir and entire 
team of organizing uh, from IMED. Uh, so we have uh, which uh, they have taken a lot of efforts from uh, for this successful completion of this Atal APDP. So once again, thanks to IMED, thanks to Atal for uh, this successful completion of this uh, five days APDP. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Vikrant. Yes. Um, there was one more request. We have Mr. Prasad Deshpande. Are you there? Hello. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Yes, sir, you are audible. Please go ahead. Afternoon, all. I, Prasad Deshpande, faculty member of uh, party in IMC A and M and a participant of uh, this FDP. Once a great man said, feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like a rapid present and not giving it. I take this opportunity to thank director sir of IMED and organizing team for arranging a wonderful FDP. I would like to say uh, it is one of the best FDP that I have attended from the topic to the speaker. Everything was amazing. What I learned uh, in this FDP is there that the innovator is in every field for a, a great example, uh, Mr. Subhu sir and Dr. Mishra from Adani group. Dr. Sharad Joshi, Dr. Vivek Marathe, Dr. Jayant Oak, Dr. Nadkarni, Professor Naik, uh, Dr. Atmaram Pawar, all are experienced speakers who made the topic interesting and valuable. Once again, I would like to thank all the organizing team and the director sir for arranging such a such a wonderful uh, FDP. Thank you once again. Uh, all the best. Thank you, Professor Prasad Deshpande. It was indeed a pleasure listening to you because uh, all the hard work ultimately when you get a good feedback, it, it always feels good. And uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, anybody else who would like to share their feedback, maybe one or two participants more, we would appreciate the feedback. It also gives us a room for improvement also. Madam, can I give? Yes, sir, please. Could I, uh, you can introduce yourself, sir, and yeah. go ahead. Yes. I'm Professor Vikram Hande, working with University of Mumbai as a faculty and a researcher at IMD Center. I would like to thank the entire team of IMD for making this event successful. Special thanks to all the coordinators. They took care of everything like connections are there, there is no connectivity or some problems related to attendance. So special thanks to all coordinators. They help immediately and solve the problem. And coming to the next part, speakers. Yes, speakers are very excellent and experienced people. They shared very huge knowledge. Like Dr. Vivek Marathe, he shared the blue ocean, red ocean strategy. It is a very great learning. And all the speakers, they shared the imminent knowledge with respect to the innovations. And definitely, whatever I learn in this FDP, I will try to implement where I'm working and I will motivate students to join such FDPs or any course related program with the IMED. It's a great event. I salute all the, uh, you can say, participants and coordinators. And final, the great person, Dr. Sachin Vernekar, his smile motivates all people. That's very, very true. Very <laughs> true. Thank you so much, Vikram Hande, sir. Uh, uh, one or two more participants would like to share your feedback. Am I audible? Yes, and I request the yes. participants, if possible, to please uh, switch on your camera when you're giving the feedback. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. We can yes. hear you. Yes, Ma'am, this is Dr. Sagar Power from CM Institute of Management. Right, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to all organizers, Sachin mm -hmm. sir, especially ma'am, for all the continuous efforts, Power sir, and organizing the best event for all the faculties. In these uh, five days, we got the exposure related with the innovation from local level to global level. And definitely it will help us in our future life. So thank you very much for organizing such activity for all the faculty and arranging such kind of guests for us. That was a big opportunity for us. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to all organizers and your team. Congrats, once again, congratulations for conducting successful event. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very good evening. So, very good evening. Yes, please. Very good evening, ma'am. My, um, my name is Swanindra. I'm calling from Hyderabad. 
right sir hello yes sir we can hear uh, you both those little disturbances very wonderful journey uh, it was wonderful journey madam for all five days and you know it was uh, very knowledgeable for us uh, uh, so thank you so much for organizing such a valuable program you know which will uh, cherish and it will be for passing on to our students as well thank you so much for the organization thanks a ton thank you thank you our pleasure sir thank you so much uh, professor rahul gadge had switched on the camera so you want to speak okay yes sir Uh, Professor Rahul had raised uh, his hand, I think, earlier. Okay, Dr. Heman Patel, you want to say something, sir? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Actually, uh, I somebody has chat put in the chat to on the camera, so I haven't. But anyway, guy got. I okay. take this opportunity to voice out my feedback also. Yes. It was a uh, very well integrated uh, program. Uh, I could see the uh, proper synchronization among your uh, organizing team. in all these five days apart from all you know in addition to what uh, all my previous uh, participants who have already mentioned the uh, value uh, or enrichment which uh, this uh, all five days fdp has uh, oh, to all of us and it was it was amazing to listen to all all good speakers uh, and you know galaxy of people you have uh, done a lot of efforts you know i i really uh, thankful to the imd whole team and your leader dr sachin vernekar sir uh he he his his face is, it, itself is like uh, giving the inspiring inspiration so that's all thank you Aristo. yes thank you heman patel sir thank you i would request all the participants to please switch on their cameras for a group photograph all of you please request all the participants I think smile is missing on certain faces. They're looking too tired. <laughs> Request yeah, all the participants great. to quickly uh, nice. switch on your camera so that we can take the photograph. I think all all participants, those who want to join, they can join. Yeah, it's a good number. I think. Uh, Uh, like amita bachan you can say your time is now and you can start yeah no just now take so we are done with so thank you all of you is really great great all of you joined you enjoyed uh, all the sessions hope you enjoyed and uh, i have listened to some of the feedback also and you have been really great participants i would say now your feedback matters most and then we are supposed to send the detailed report to the uh, to the uh, aic team and i must thank again my team and their faces are there still there with a smile uh, that says so many so many things yes so okay. you are an inspiration now, behind all this effort so thank you very much so uh, baljit have a have this photograph again Yes sir. Okay. Yes. Projector, uh, yes, Pawar, you all can have your own photographs. Yeah, you have to show to your family. Last five <laughs> days, last five days, what you were doing, you have to give explanation. Yes, right. Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. Now, when you talk about family, Mahadi appears immediately. <laughs> Till then, he disappears.
Okay, thank you all of you. Well done. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, take, yeah, I would now uh, request. So recording, Dr. please stop. Now this is something informal at your level. Ah, Jikar, uh, over to you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, I would request the coordinator of this entire faculty development program on innovation management sponsored by AICT, Professor Dr. Sachin Airekar, sir, <coughs> to please propose the word of thanks. Uh, thank you, Sonali, ma'am. Uh, am I audible, ma'am? Yes, sir, perfectly. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, AICT for approving our proposal of FDP on innovation management under our term scheme. So I'm very thankful to all the AICT officials for that. Uh, I'm also uh, very thankful uh, to all our universities authorities because uh, without uh, their support and guidance, it was not possible for us to conduct the FTP. Our uh, beloved uh, Honorable Chancellor, Dr. Shivajarao Kadam sir, Honorable Secretary Vishwajit uh, Kadam sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Manikrao Sawanke, sir, and as well as our beloved director at the source of inspiration, Professor Dr. Sachin Veranekar, sir, Dean of MS, BVDU, Director IML. I'm also uh, extremely thankful uh, for the participant. Uh, without their support, this event, this MDP, uh, it was very difficult for us to conduct because we are conducting, uh, conducting this FDP through online mode. So technical glitches, chances of those technical glitches are always there. Uh, twice it happened also, but uh, you all have supported us. So thank you all participants. I'm also thankful to uh, the organizing team, Dr. Pramod Kovar, Dr. Sonali Baker, Madam, uh, Dr. Paljit Kaur, Madam, uh, Professor Deepak Navalgun, sir, Dr. Shraddha Viranekar, Madam, Dr. Prit Kaur, Madam, Dr. Sham Sukla, sir, Dr. Bharati Zado, Madam, Dr. Mahadik, sir, and Dr. Swati Desai, Madam. So, I'm thankful uh, to all of you. Uh, your support was uh, uh, very valuable for me uh, because at the one time I have to, uh, one side I am having 190 participants for this activity. Another side I am having 15 resource persons as well as these technical things, uh, it, it is uh, doubt you also put it was not possible for me to take care of all these three. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much. Now I want to make some announcement uh, related to assessment with the permission of honorable parameters. Shall I, sir? I think. Sir said yes. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, as per ATL FDP norm, now we are going to conduct online assessment. The assessment is designed with the help of Google form. The link of the assessment will be get shared in this chat box of MS Teams, as well as the WhatsApp group, which we have prepared uh, with all participants. There are 30 questions, three zero, and no negative marking is there for these questions. The exam will start at 4.30 and the link will be get closed at 5.45 as per the Atal FDP norm. Any individual, any participant, if they are facing any problem, do write to us on WhatsApp group so that immediately we will uh, provide you the necessary help. So I'm now posting the link of our assessment in chat box as well as on our WhatsApp group. Once again, I'm thankful to all of you for your support and guidance. Thank you.
Baljit ma'am, have you stopped the recording?